I think that there is a pervasive myth that's still going on that sexual assault just doesn't exist or it doesn't exist as much as people think or we're dealing with it well or you know a lot of things like that and if there's one thing that I can say it's that sexual assault does exist it happens to people you know it happens in our communities um, and Sackholms is making McGill a safer space to deal with those issues. The advocacy branch or a branch mainly deals with McGill's policy on harassment, sexual harassment and discrimination. We help McGill um, staff, students and faculty navigate this policy um, as complainants or as um, people who are just interested in getting more information. One of our most public branches is definitely DIAL, which stands for drop in and line. Um, what we do is we take phone calls in our center and we also do drop-ins. We're located in the basement of SMU. Um, our phone line and our drop-in service are totally confidential, um, non-judgmental. We mostly focus on active listening, so supporting survivors and their experiences, and we can also provide resources if need be. Our support groups branch offers support groups for survivors of sexual assault. Uh, we also run dedicated support groups for the family and friends of survivors. Um, all of our groups are open to anybody, uh, regardless of um, age, gender, sexual orientation. Um, and so they're open groups, which means people can come and go as they please. Being able to provide confidential and non-judgmental support, both on the phone and in person, is a really great way to help support survivors and their allies, um, as well as some of the other education outreaches that we do to help get us integrated into the Montreal community. It really provides the biggest room for education and I think we do a lot of work in this, at the center uh, with support and helping people who struggle with experiences but at the same time like I feel like outreach goes takes that step to kind of like not to not necessarily to prevent but to provide enough education that everybody knows how to respond to like the idea of sex crimes and sexual assault in our society as a whole. We also have a yearly art show called Fire with Water. Um, we take submissions from the wider Montreal community about sexual violence um, and wider themes, feminism, um, gender-based violence, things like that, in the form of spoken word poetry, um, written poetry, short stories, and art pieces as well. I think one thing that McGill students don't know about SATCOMS is just the variety of services that are available. I think often that people do have a fear about talking about sexual assault in the sense that sometimes they're worried that actions are going to be very immediately drastic, which might be too hard to handle, but there are so many steps along the way that we're almost able to like cater our services to match so many individual needs. Yeah, I wish McGill students could see the passion in our volunteers and, and how much they care. We all, I think, want people to feel comfortable to come here and want people to come and access our services. We believe you. We believe you. We believe you. We believe you.